Maybe in the future, with like the Steam Deck 5, we'll be able to run Elden Ring at 1440p max settings, but for now, this mini PC with SteamOS 3 is really putting the power down. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at SteamOS 3, otherwise known as Steam Deck OS, running on the all-new Minus Forum HX99G. This is turning out to be my favorite mini PC of 2023 so far, but we've still got a little ways to go. Either way you look at it, this is a very powerful unit. We've got a brand new Ryzen 6000 CPU and a dedicated Radeon GPU in a super small form factor. Now the way I've got it set up right now is on the vertical stand that it comes with, but this can be set horizontally if you kind of want to set it underneath your monitor. But personally, love the way it looks like this. Recently on the channel, we took a look at the HX99G running Windows, but since then I've had a lot of people asking about Linux gaming performance, so that's exactly what we're going to be testing out in this video. And uh, for this, we're actually going to be using the same operating system that's running on the Steam Deck, SteamOS 3. Now to install this to the system, I've just replaced the M.2 SSD here. We've actually got two slots inside of the unit. I could have just added the other one, but I've got a one terabyte M.2 drive here with hollow ISO installed. If you're not familiar with Hollow ISO, this is exactly how we're going to get it up and running right now because Valve hasn't officially released SteamOS 3 as an ISO yet. This team has taken it upon themselves to kind of take the Steam Deck recovery image and rework it so we can install it on different AMD systems. I've done a lot of testing with this. Personally, huge fan of the work they've done, but right now, NVIDIA cards just aren't supported with Hollow ISO, so you really got to rely on a Radeon APU or Radeon graphics cards. And with the HX99G, we've actually got a dedicated Radeon RX 6600M. So this has 8GB of VRAM, and in Windows, this thing is a great performer. I consider this little setup here a 1440p high gaming setup or 1080p ultra. And with some older stuff, we can go up to 4K with it. If you're interested in checking out the Windows performance of the new HX99G, I'll leave a link for that video in the description. But before we jump into SteamOS 3, I wanted to give you a quick rundown on the specs here. So for the CPU, we've got the Ryzen 9 6900 HX. This is based on Zen 3 Plus. We've got 8 cores, 16 threads, a base clock of 3.3 GHz, and a boost up to 4.9. As for RAM, this utilizes SODIMM DDR5, and with this one, we've got 16 GB running at 4800 MHz, but this will support up to 64 GB of RAM. We've got the Radeon RX 660M, which is really going to up that GPU performance. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, two USB 4 ports around back that utilize 40 gig protocol so we can actually connect really fast storage or an external GPU, but with this there's really not much we're going to get out of the way with adding something a bit more powerful over Thunderbolt given that we have that 6600M already. We've got two M.2 SSD slots inside of the unit so we can add plenty of storage and it comes with a 280 watt power supply. Okay, so I've already installed SteamOS 3 to a 1TB M.2 SSD. We'll just go ahead and boot this up. Everything's working with this unit. We've got Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet around back. The one issue that I ran into was uh, the 6900HX does have the Radeon 680M iGPU built in. I did have to go into the BIOS and disable the iGPU completely to take full advantage of the 6600M. So we're not going to be messing around with the iGPU here. All of our graphics in Steam Deck OS are going to be handled by that RX 6600M. And I can tell you right now, this thing is an amazing performer running Linux. Okay, so obviously we got this up and running. No issues whatsoever. I just installed it to that M.2 drive and everything works. We've got Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth. We can open up the performance menu over here. We can enable variable refresh rate. We can also just set the refresh rate if we want to. I'm on a 144 hertz monitor, at least over HDMI, so we can go up that high. Only thing that we really can't control from within SteamOS 3 is the TDP of the CPU and GPU. All of that was really designed for the Steam Deck's APU, and we're working with a lot more power here. You can see that we've got that Ryzen 9 6900HX, and this is running it up to 70 watts. And for the GPU, we've got that Radeon RX 6600M. The HX99G, even at full bow, is really quiet. I mean, it's got one of the best coolers that I've seen in a mini PC. Dual heatsink, dual fan setup, and they don't need to spin up that high to keep the GPU and CPU cool. 
So even with having the PC set up right here next to the monitor, and if you were sitting right at the desk, you wouldn't hear the fans in the PC at all, even gaming at 1440p. Now with SteamOS 3, in order to get those higher resolutions, we will need to go into each game, and we can actually set the resolution, or the highest resolution that we can achieve. And with most of this stuff, I'm gonna go to 1440p, but keep in mind, there are more optimized and older games that this will run at 4K Ultra settings. You just kinda gotta do some testing and tuning. First up, we've got Cyberpunk 2077, 1440p, high settings, and we're actually not that far off from the Windows performance. We're lacking about 4 or 5 frames, but not much at all, so uh, I was actually expecting to get a little less out of it with those same settings that I was using in Windows, given that we're using Proton here with Linux. But with it set up like this, we can get an average of around 73 FPS in SteamOS 3. Not bad at all at 1440p. Next on the list, Spider-Man Miles Morales, 1440p, very high settings. We can average around 77 FPS, and you'll see it jump up much higher when we're, you know, above the buildings. That's kind of normal. And to tell you the truth, we are lacking quite a bit of frames here when you compare it to the Windows version with these same settings. We're down about 15, but since the HX99G is putting out so much power, it's not something we really have to worry about with this system here. If we were working with a lower end system that kind of struggled to hit that 60 FPS mark, then that would be a very significant hit on performance, but again, we've got more than enough power to run this over 60, 1440p, very high settings. Moving over to Elden Ring, 1440p, maximum settings. We can run this at 60. Now, I did see a couple dips down to 58, and I really wish the developers would do a little more optimizations with this game when it comes to Linux. I do have a feeling that lower end systems could run this much better. You know, I've run into a lot of issues with this game, working with lower end GPUs and CPUs in Linux. But uh, I mean, the way it is right now, you can definitely max this out at 1440 on the HX99G. Sonic Frontiers is one I always like to come back to on Linux because when it was first released, a lot of people ran into a lot of issues running this with Proton. But uh, it seems the developers have done a lot of updates. And initially, going into this game, I went straight up to 4K. Unfortunately, we don't have enough optimizations here with the game yet to run this at 4K on a system like this in Linux. Now in Windows, it will run at 60, 4K maxed out, but with this, I did have to drop it down to 1440p. Horizon Zero Dawn, I have beat this on PlayStation 5. I really wish I could get my PlayStation save over here. I probably just need to go ahead and download one or play through the game, but we're right there at the beginning. 1440p, high settings. We can run this really well on a system like this in Linux. I've actually had pretty decent luck just on the Steam Deck with this game at about 35 FPS. Project Cars 2, no it's an older one, but I wanted to see if we could kind of max this out at 4K, and yeah, not a problem. We can get an average of around 80 FPS here, very high settings, 4K, and I always come back to this one because it is my favorite Project Cars game, especially for the Rallycross. I've always enjoyed this a lot more than Project Cars 3, and I do think that this should be Steam Deck verified. Even on the Steam Deck at 800p with a low-medium mix, you can get a really good frame rate out of this. Doom Eternal, I wish every game ran this well on, uh, you know, Linux or even Windows. They've just done a really great job with the engine here. 4K, ultra high mix. I did have to drop shadows down to high because I was getting a major dip there. It took me a little while to figure out it was the shadows causing the issue. But we can get well over 60 FPS at 4K on this system in SteamOS 3. And finally, God of War 1440p high settings with FSR set to balance. So I have noticed kind of a big degradation in performance when you compare this to Windows on the same system. So I did have to enable that FSR and set it right to balance there at high settings. You can run this game at ultra 1440p on the system, but then we have to take FSR to performance to get it up there over 60. But with it set up like this, we can get an average of around 79 FPS. So obviously, the Menace Forum HX99G can handle SteamOS 3, and you know, they've definitely packed enough power in this, so if you wanted to go with Linux or Windows, it's really going to work out very well for gaming and work. Not to mention, I do think that this is one of the best looking mini PCs on the market right now, and uh, with this, we do get some real carbon fiber, plus the whole unit itself is made of a carbon fiber reinforced plastic. 
The cooling system that they have here is very efficient and quiet. We've got dual fans here for the large heat sink inside of the unit and they work independently of each other. So, you know, one of them's gonna be controlling the temperatures on the GPU, one of them's gonna be controlling the temperatures on the CPU. So they don't have to run it full blast all the time. They also use liquid metal on the CPU and we've got a big seven pipe heat sink on this unit. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in learning more about the HX99G, I'll leave some links to Menace Forum in the description. And if you wanna check out the Windows performance, link to that video is down below. But I'd also like to know in the comments below what you think about this mini PC in general. I mean, do you like the way it looks? Is it putting out enough performance in Steam or Windows? Is this something you'd be interested in at the right price? Let us know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.